SMC produces equipment for factory automation, supporting the industrial manufacturing sector worldwide. We offer a wide range of products. So let us look at our products used in a typical automated production line. Firstly, for the processing of clean air for pneumatic systems in factory production lines. Compressed air is first generated by the air compressor. The heated compressed air is then passed through an after cooler to cool it down. The cooled compressed air is then piped for storage to an air tank for availability on demand for the various stages of production. Compressed air in this tank contains impurities like solid particles and water droplets. To remove coarse impurities, in the first filtering stage, the air is passed through a mainline filter. The remaining moisture in the air is extracted by passing it through an air dryer. The compressed air is now ready for delivery to the factory production lines after the flow rate of the air is measured and monitored by a flow switch. A clean supply of compressed air is now available to power the various processes in the factory's production lines. The compressed air needs to be further processed for each application on a production line. It is first passed through a fine air filter to improve the purity of the air. The pressure of the air is then controlled by a regulator and this pressure is then measured and monitored with the help of a pressure switch. And finally, a residual pressure relief three-port valve is used to manually switch air pressure on and off to the application. It also releases residual pressure in the pneumatic line. Directional control valves, in this case five port solenoid valves, are used to control the direction of the air flow. The compressed air is supplied to an air cylinder to push workpieces on a conveyor line. The flow rate of the compressed air is controlled by speed controllers, usually mounted directly onto the actuator. Auto switches detect the piston position and send electrical signals to the cylinder control system. The direction of the air flow to the cylinders is changed by the control valve to extend or retract the cylinders. To move blanks to the next operation, the blanks are then pressed and formed by the high pressure generated by a hydraulic cylinder. The workpieces are then washed in a bath. A process pump is used to transfer and recover the fluid. An industrial filter filters the fluid to remove particles and impurities. A chemical liquid valve controls the flow of chemical fluids. The workpieces are then turned over to clear them of cleaning fluid. To do this an air gripper grips. A rotary actuator rotates. 
and a guide cylinder moves or repositions. Together these components are able to grip and rotate the workpieces to clear them of cleaning fluid. The workpieces are now blow dried. To do this, two port solenoid valves switch on and off the airflow and a digital flow sensor monitors the flow rate. Energy-saving blow nozzles direct the flow for best cleaning efficiency. This ends the production process. The workpieces are now transferred from the conveyor belt onto a pallet. An air gripper grips the workpieces when lifting them. Auto switches on the gripper body detect the position of the built-in magnet to determine when a workpiece has been gripped. A table cylinder positions the gripper to a suitable gripping position. And once the workpiece has been gripped, it is lifted off the conveyor belt. A slide table type electric actuator is used to transfer the workpieces from the conveyor belt onto the pallet. Once the pallets have been loaded, they are moved along the conveyor. The pallets are then distributed to different packaging lines. A guide cylinder pushes selected pallets to redirect them to the first packaging line. After a stopper cylinder has stopped the pallets, the pallets that will be processed by the second packaging line are let through by the stopper cylinder. The workpieces that are distributed to the second packaging line will be laser marked. A thermo chiller controls the temperature of the circulating cooling fluid for the laser. After the circulating fluid discharged from the thermo chiller has been heated by the laser, it returns to the thermo chiller and the circulating fluid is controlled to remain at a set temperature by the refrigeration circuit. An ionizer removes static electricity from the workpieces by generating ions. In the final packaging area, a multi-stage vacuum ejector generates vacuum. The vacuum is used for vacuum pads that adsorb the workpieces for lifting them. Finally, the workpieces are picked from the production line pallet and placed into cardboard boxes to be sealed and for distribution. We hope that this video has given you a good overview of SMC's products, used in a typical automated production line. SMC is a worldwide supplier of automation equipment for manufacturing. We hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for your time.